everyone. Based on my experience, uh, I create a, a workflow and it works for me for years. We can talk a lot and discuss about which one is the best way to do it. But if you're working in filming, short film, it's one way. If you're doing commercials, it's another way. But mostly we have like something in common about naming and foldering. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Of course, the first thing what we have to do is name the main folder, which is the name of the project. I try to do the shortest way. Always use underscore to split uh, the first word and the second word or the third word. First we're going to start with the, the first folder which is audio. In this folder we can put inside you know everything which means audio for us. I also include four different soup folders which the, the first one it's mix, the second it's music, the third is sound effects or SFX, the last one will be voice or voiceover. The folder mix. In this folder, we're gonna put inside everything which is already mixed with a, for another person, another post producer. On the mix folder, we, we have just the final files, not the script, not sessions or audio post production. Then we have a music folder, which is, of course, music. In this folder, you can put all the music tracks, beds, and then we have SFX sound effects folder on the folder voice we're gonna put inside all the voiceovers all the announcers voice what we have on set and curves it's not it's not common to use uh, the folder curve but you put it there all the illustrator or postscript files inside on the folder cut we're gonna put inside all the export clips and inside of this uh, folder we have a specific uh, folder name deliver they, that's the place that we're gonna put the final the, the very end clip with the required format I used to export each clip with different versions like version 1 and then the second of course will be v2 then the folder name font you're gonna put inside all the typography that you have in, in the project this, this folder is important because if you're gonna share this project with another person or even if you sell your computer and you're gonna you buy a new one you need the, uh, a specific folder uh, a specific typo and you have it there just for backup all the material that you have from cameras including drones gimbals everything is gonna be inside on this folder name footage you have to organize all the the folder uh, by days the day one we shot we used two cameras and one drone and you have to create different folder for each maybe cam a cam b and drone camera now we have the production folder which this folder has inside uh, four different folders the first one is grading in the grading uh, folder you're gonna uh, put everything inside like palettes like references like lots notes you know what it is and just to uh, have notes between production and post-production. On production and scripts folder, you're gonna put inside all the storyboards, scripts, and dialogues. On the references folder, uh, you're gonna put inside all the inspiration frames, references, and stills. In the folder render, I used to, to fill it with composed clips from, from After Effects, or pre comped from the same post-production application. The script folder is the right place to save the project. I split it in four different kind of projects like 3D, audio, compose and edit. If you're working in Premiere or DaVinci, you have to save the, the timeline or, or the project there. Even if you are working on DaVinci Resolve, you have to set it up the, in the very beginning, this for uh, all the project has to be inside this this folder inside the script. Remember, this folder is just based on my experience. You can you know adapt for yourself and do whatever you want. But this is the base, and it worked for me for years. Here down below, you can find three different links. One of the links is a compressed file with 
all the structure, all the folders for Mac. You can download and copy to your to your own computer. The other two links are for Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. You can find project, empty project, but with a generic folder and a naming. Thanks for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn how I organize my projects.